Okay, so there's a bit of a debate going on about when we're testing to prove that we've got an electrically safe working condition, whether that test should be called a zero energy test or an absence of voltage test. Some standards say we should call it an absence of voltage test. Some people say calling it a zero energy test more accurately describes what we're testing for. So let's have a look. We've got a little, a little scenario set up here and we're gonna have Tyler take a test from, from this ground mark to these other pipes and see if we can detect any voltage. First, we're gonna check for AC voltage. Tyler, you mind seeing what we've got here? Zero. All right, so it looks like to me that the meter is saying zero AC volts. Does that seem right to you? Okay. All right, let's check for DC now. All right, looks like to me that the meter is showing zero volts DC as well. So we have no voltage on this system whatsoever. Okay, Tyler, now that we've made sure that there's no hazardous voltage on this system, let's take this specialized ant clamp and go ahead and take a sample and see if we find any other types of hazardous energy. A little, little more, a little less, the 49, 48 milliamps of flow on this ground wire. So that's well over 30 milliamps that's, that's dangerous to the human body or to the heart. So it looks like to me that there's electrical energy in this system. Even though we can see that there's no voltage, we don't have an electrically safe working condition because there's still hazardous energy. So what we really need to do when we're testing is not just check for the absence of voltage, but verify that we have zero energy and that it's safe for a human to work on this. So when we're trying to establish an electrically safe working condition, it may not be enough to just use a voltage meter. It may also be necessary to prove that we don't have amperage flowing in the system. This little experiment here has proven that as electricians, we can encounter scenarios where there's no electrical voltage or there is absence of voltage, but yet there's still hazardous energy in the form of current flow. Be careful out there.